But a mother Kaveri never differentiated for even now she doesn't differentiate Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Mother Kaveri just flows and everybody is same to her. At any point of time, I can't release water to Tamil Nadu. We have kept water only for the drinking purpose. Maybe D.K. Shokumarji, Megadhatu, uh, his constituency, his district, mm. Bangalore rural, it has got a lot of symbolism where Mother Kaveri goes. He wants to make it a political issue and strengthen his base. They are never asked. At no point we can't release. Mm. Now D.K. Shokumarji wants to make it an election issue by blowing it up. So why can't both the chief ministers pick up a phone? They are an Indian alliance. India. <laughs> Why can't they pick up a phone? Our chief minister went to Bangalore for the India Alliance meeting for two days. When he came back, the press asked him the question. Sir, did you speak about Kaveri water unto him? He said, no, no, I didn't have time to speak about it. We had many important political matters to discuss. When India Alliance, you are not able to solve it. How are you going to solve country's problem, madam? Are you going to be releasing water from the Kaveri for Tamil no, Nadu? No, no, the, at any point of time, I can't release water to Tamil Nadu. We have kept water only for the drinking purpose. Huh. Even Tamil Nadu knows about it. They are also not demanding. They are never asked. At no point, we can't release. Only we are using the water for drinking. We have helped our farmers at all, all, all point of time. They are happy. They had their crops sufficiently. Now there is no question of releasing to anyone except drinking water. Why can't the two states sort it out? What is your solution to it? But a mother Kaveri never differentiated for... Even now she doesn't differentiate Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Mother Kaveri just flows and everybody is same to her. It just so happened in a geographical boundary. Mother Kaveri starts somewhere and ends somewhere. Hmm. And the politicians of both states, they create ruckus for a long time. Now, we have a long history to it. Pre-independence, agreements signed, agreements not honoured, dams built without permission. Now, there is a lot of acrimonious nature to it. Hmm. Karnataka being in the upper riparian state, Tamil Nadu being the lower riparian state. Karnataka wants to build a Mekadatu dam. We opposed it. Matter came to Delhi. Parliament, the minister has to clarify. Nobody can build a dam when the lower riparian state doesn't give permission. Now, madam, we have to understand... Water in India is a perennial, long-going conflict between states. Not only this, Maharashtra, Goa, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Karnataka, Goa, Tamil Nadu, Andhra. So, if you see especially the South Indian states where Tamil Nadu is one state, madam, with due respect to our state, we don't have enough water in our state. That is very unfortunate. No major rivers are originating in our state. It just comes from Kerala, Karnataka is predominantly the water flows inside. And you see our agriculture is shrinking. If you look at any data in Delta, for example, last year, the Food Corporation of India lifted. Just one data I'm giving you, just to tell you how stark, even for Tamil Nadu it is. 8.25 lakh tons of food grains was lifted. Food grain meaning it is only Paddy. rice paddy. Mm. This year, same one year back, it is 5.25 lakh ton, meaning 3 lakh ton we have lost. Mm. Because water is a problem, water is not coming. We have this Kurubai Sagubadi, the what the, it is shrinking, delta area is shrinking. Delta means the Tanjavur part. Water. Tanjavur part. Tanjavur part is the delta area. That is where the Kaveri after coming broadens after Karur, then she goes and joins the sea. Mm. Now Tamil Nadu, our demand is a very legitimate demand that drought year, non-drought year. There is a plan that was made in 2018 when Modiji mm. constituted mm. the Karnataka, the Kaveri Water Management Authority for the very first time. Though the judgment came in the UPA time in 2008-7, nobody wanted to touch this hot potato. Mm. They felt, oh, if I constitute this authority, Karnataka will not vote for me and all those things. But Modi boldly in 2018, he came and constituted. For the very first time after hundreds of years, we have a formula to say, drought year, this is the formula. Excess year, this is the formula. Compensation, this is the formula. That is calculated scientifically. And there's no need for anybody to get emotional or fight, madam. It is a scientific process hmm. where the Water Resources Secretary sits, Tamil Nadu government, senior representative sits, Karnataka government sits, the CM hmm. sits. And they just have to go by that formula. When you become very parochial to say, maybe D.K. Shokumarji, Megadhatu, uh, his constituency, his district, hmm. Bangalore rural, it has got a lot of symbolism where Mother Kaveri goes. He wants to make it a political issue and strengthen his base. Hmm. But I don't think the whole of Karnataka feels uh, Mr. D.K. Shokumar's argument in this way. When mm. D.K. Shokumar says, oh, I'm going to be in the election manifesto, Megadatu Dam I'll build. Then as uh, Deputy Chief Minister, not even one drop of Kaveri. Then Siddharamaya Ji speaking the same language. Then understand, Madam, if everybody starts speaking the same language, mm. of course you go to Hosur border, Madam, in Tamil Nadu, you stand there for just half an hour. You see thousands of vehicles going into Bangalore, thousands of vehicles coming into Tamil Nadu. Yeah. The fruits goes, the vegetable goes. Yeah. The software guys goes, people come. <laughs> so there... Kaveri is one issue, main issue of course. But these are also, can you put a stop to those people? 
We have a lot of Karnataka business, Kannadiga businesses thriving in Tamil Nadu. Hotels, businesses in Coimbatore, businesses in Chennai. Likewise, we have lakhs of our uh, uh, Tamilians in Bangalore and IT hubs. People live there. People comfortably live there. But they have to understand a parochial political statement shouldn't be here. And I think it is not the old India where we were thriving on parochial statements and doing politics. Let us focus on other things. Fine. Drought here, yes. You have a problem, yes. Drinking water, problem, yes. Agree. Nobody is denying it, madam. We all want drinking water sufficiently people should get. So this, these kind of statements which are coming, is it just at the at the cream, creme de la creme, just the top layer of politicians who are doing this, just emotional, uh, you know, impact on the voters just before elections? Do you think that? Madam, this is all interpersonal one-to-one, -one, madam. It is all politics at the top level. Politics at the local level is sometimes going beyond your parochial nature. I am giving you an example where it happened anecdotally. We had Krishna water, big issue. Now it is solved now, big issue. Kaveri is still an ongoing problem despite 2018 constituted, BJP government time, nothing happened, water came, no problem. Suddenly Congress in the manifesto, he, they put it, BJP manifesto not there at Megadatu, that suddenly they made it such a big issue. Mm. When they said the central government will take care of both the states, there is a formula, nobody will get affected. Mm. Now DK Shokumarji wants to make it an election issue by blowing it up. Now what happens, madam? Tamil Nadu politicians has to react. Politics is a reaction game. When you don't react, your base will say, oh, you're not reacting enough. When he's saying, don't build Megadatu, minimum you should say, mm -hmm. I'll go and destroy Megadatu. <laughs> and one guy from Tamil Nadu will say, I will go destroy Megadatu. The other guy in Karnataka will say, how dare you destroy Megadatu? I'll come and destroy that. So mm. where is it going to end, madam? Mm. So it is all interpersonal. Why can't both the chief ministers pick up a phone? They are an Indian alliance. India. <laughs> Why can't they pick up a phone? Mm. Our chief minister went to Bangalore for the Indian alliance meeting for two days. When he came back, the press asked him the question. Sir, did you speak about Kaveri water and to him? He said, no, no, I didn't have time to speak about it. We had many important political matters to discuss. You should play that clip where Mr. M.K. Stalinji in Chennai Airport says, we had many political issues to discuss. That is not important to us. It is all an interpersonal thing. India alliance. When India alliance, you are not able to solve it. How are you going to solve country's problem, madam? Hmm. I'm just making a honest request to the India alliance. When you, when you're are they going to come? Do you think that in Coimbatore, do you think in Coimbatore, Rahul Gandhi will come and campaign against you? 100% Rahul Gandhi ji will come to Tamil Nadu. I don't know where he's going to come, madam. Now, now, my only question to them, when you can't solve one state's water problem, how are you solve India's, are going to solve India's problem? 2G tape is one where you take agency under your control. Now, this Kaveri water dispute is one. You want to make parochial statements to... Ma'am, politics is transcending that parochial st statements because you know it is not going to give you instant dividend. Click here to watch the full episode.